Okay, uh, playing... <laughs> Dominion League. Uh, it's my last match of the season. It's against, uh, Crabcat. And, uh... I'll see how it goes. I don't think... Uh, why? Whatever. Um, and, uh, I don't think there's much at stake here unless the result goes really hard one way or the other. Um, so, that's something. Um, I have a 5-2 here, which I'm not exactly sure how advantageous it is. Like, you can open Bounty Hunter Chapel. It's probably going to be best on either split. Uh, there's some temptation to open Berserker, but I actually don't think there's that much of a point. Like, um, assuming your Bounty Hunter hand doesn't get hit, you'll Bounty Hunter something by Berserker and be on your merry way uh, that way. Um, there is inheritance here. I'm not sure it looks that amazing. I mean, I guess you'd like to inherit fishermen potentially. Might be okay. I don't know that it's that amazing. There's, there's just nothing that that's, that's that amazing. Uh, I should also know that there's not really buys here. Um, or, or really good gains. So, so Berserker is probably kind of a big deal. Um, Let's see. Do I want to open Berserker or still open Bounty Hunter? Uh, let's. Well, shoot. I'm gonna do the Berserker, I think. Because, like, if if they collide anyways, I'm, I'm not going to be playing Bounty Hunter productively. So, let's let's do it this way. Um, I'll, I'll miss the opportunity to get one extra card out, but oh well. Um, may very well get hit right here. Or I should get hit right here by a Berserker attack, which is going to be freaking annoying. Oh, nope, it's Inheritance. Okay. That's, like, even worse. Um, <laughs> somehow. Um, so, I want to gain, uh, probably Bounty Hunter Underling. Um. I could Scribes. Has potential to draw the chapel, but it's also a little bit safer to do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, and then I think I want an underling. Um, I'm about to get like totally messed up here, probably. <laughs> um, that 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 was really that was really not how you know those those turns were supposed to go. This is going to be a berserker, yeah. Uh, so I just get to trash two estates, which is fine, but also sucks. <laughs> um, this was certainly a, a rather good start for you off the bounty hunter. I guess, I mean, I, I would have had it too. I would have had it too. We should, we should make note. Um, but, but I didn't. So now, now look where we are. Um, yeah, so just do that. Fisherman. Um, I think another berserker's out of order. I don't. I don't think we're gonna get down to down to that stuff. Uh, I could take another underling that represents draw, uh, which is pretty good. Um, I could also just take another fisherman. Um, but I think I'll, I think I'll grab the, I think I'll grab the underling. Um, this, uh, this inheritance stuff's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna be 
perfectly honest. Um, we'll do something like this. Don't don't really want the scribes now. Wanted on a wanted on an attacked turn. Um, so let's see what I'm gonna do from here. I don't know. Like I have to figure out how I'm gonna produce economy. Probably fishermen. Uh, you of course don't have that problem because you've inherited fishermen, and so there's economy everywhere you could possibly want it. Um, <laughs> But, hmm. take a card, probably buy a state, yeah, yeah, this is, this is, this is not good. Um, alright, uh, let's Bounty Hunter Chapel, take a card, okay. Um, I can actually inherit here, so I might actually take, uh, well, what can I actually inherit? I can inherit Bounty Hunter, that's kind of lame. Um, hmm. Maybe I don't play the Berserker, maybe I just inherit, like, is that any good? Maybe. Maybe I undo the Berserker play and inherit. Fisherman. Let's let's do that. That way I can gain uh I can gain um we'll do that. It's it's bad. It's bad. Um it's it's pretty bad, but we'll we'll try to get through it. Like, like I'm certainly feeling like I'm I'm losing here trying to trying to follow on this fisherman inheritance stuff, but I also think it's kind of the only way to go. Um, so, yeah. It can just be a state. These, these these all these gains should just be a state. Really, maybe you take a tunnel. Maybe, but I'm I'm not I'm not buying. Um. Yeah. Can you reach province already? That'd be devastating. Yeah. Uh. I'm gonna continue on here. Uh, so so here's everything. Um, mouse. That's weird. Um, so this will be like a state, maybe ton. Maybe I take tunnel. Mouse has really been having issues. Like I'll click and it won't do anything. I thought yesterday it was some lag, but it's actually just everything sucking. Um. There'll be some potential this turn to like bounty hunter the tunnel, gain tunnel with berserker, discard it, gain a gold. Uh, it's pretty convoluted and probably not very good, especially when I'm up against provinces. Uh, but we'll, we'll try to make it work out. Um, like, like you're not gonna miss here. You are going to reach province every time. You are going to bounty hunter a province, and you are going to buy province every single turn. So, uh, I have to figure out what I'm going to do about that. Um, it's it's just the it's just the reality of my situation is that I have a pretty significant problem here. Um. So yeah, let's let's do let's do this trick. Um, we're gonna bounty hunter tunnel. We're gonna berserker, I guess, a estate, and I'm gonna buy tunnel. That sounds bad. Maybe I maybe I buy a duchy. Um, 
I, I don't, I don't think it's actually possible for you to miss. Like, had I opened Bounty Hunter, I would have been able to, I guess, draw this game, but couldn't, could not anticipate, could not anticipate. And yeah, there's, there's just, there's no way to, there's no way to do it. Well, turn three inheritances will do that to you. Um, oh well, it's my start. <sighs> okay, well, we should have opened Bounty Hunter. Maybe. I don't know. I'm 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 under convinced. I'm under convinced. Um. All right. What's going on here? Uh, I could open displace over lackeys. That might be a good idea. We'll think about it a little bit more. There's university, but university is actually looking pretty lackluster. I want to say. Um. Just because you can displace the stuff you want, you can just place border village and university can't gain king's court and you can get lackeys otherwise. So I think I'm liking opening displace, um, even over lackeys. Uh, I mean, we'll start getting lackeys, but I think, I think this is probably a bit better. Um, what do we want to do after getting this place? We all just want to get a bunch of lackeys and then merchant guild, I suppose. Oh. The, the rewards are not that amazing opening this place. Maybe merchant guild's actually better to open. Well, I think either way I want one of the fives, so let's do that and figure it out afterwards. Um. I think it's this place. Let's do it. Okay. This is sad, but oh well. <laughs> well we're just going to be getting tons of wackies, I suppose. Maybe we'll even get to hit six. I would have, I think I actually would have rather, uh, done estate into, um, poacher. Like I'm gonna do right here. Um, just grab another lackeys. Yeah. Like, like the hope's gonna be hit six by Border Village Merchant Guild. You know. Yeah, you're just gonna go Temple Lackeys, okay. I think that's reasonable too. Um. do that into lackeys. I think I want to take Border Village and Merchant Guild before I take the King's Court. Uh, we may regret that. I don't think so though, because you kind of want to have the, the deck moving along first. Um... Or, or, or I want I want like something that's actually worthwhile to King's Court first, which is which is Merchant Guild. Um. So, yeah. Poacher's not bad, but the extra buys would be appreciated. Um. We'll just keep playing these. I don't know. This is like okay, maybe. How about we discard this and um save over this place and buy King's Court? I'm running out of villagers. <laughs> uh which happens. Um Like, 
I guess I'd probably want to displace the poacher this turn into like border village innkeeper. I mean, I'll, we'll see what the draw does first. This this was. I, I don't think it was unexpected. I would have rather really. I would have really liked to see the border village last turn, but I don't think it's a like a huge huge freaking deal. But I didn't. Um, or I can't. I can't really complain about it. Maybe. Is, is more what I'm getting at. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's just do that. Um, sure would like another King's Court. Maybe we, maybe we just place a state here. Or do I play the Merchant Guild and just get another King's Court to save over the uh, lackeys? I'm kind of liking that option also. I, I guess I could also do like Border Village Innkeeper off the Merchant Guild. Um, this would go to Innkeeper. I'd save Merchant Guild, Border Village Innkeeper. Keeping this one villager seems really important. Um, let's do it this way. There we go. Okay, so this this should be a nice full turn. I'm gonna king the border village, even though it's a little bit uh maybe lackluster. Um just to just to Is that even true? I don't know if that's even true. Whether king the king the merging guild might just be so much better. Right. Well, if I king the border village, I have some potential to gain in play, maybe? I'm not sure if the draw's there, but we'll worry about that later, I guess. Um, let's see if you just take a displace. You might also just take a displace here and try to, try to, to get it done that way. I'm not sure. This will be telling now. It's, it's Merchant Guild. Okay. You do have enough for a King's Court. Oh, it's not going to be King's Court. It's going to be Border Village Innkeeper. Border Village might be another Merchant Guild, too. Let's see. Okay. Um, okay, so... Let's see. Um, I'm gonna be able to uh, displace the border village into King's Court and draw it. So let's do that. Um, how much money is this? Um, do I king the merchant kill? That's three, ten. It's ten, right? If I discard the lackeys without using the coffer. How do I feel about using the coffer? Pretty okay, I feel, suppose. I want to go like border village, innkeeper, seller, or something like that. I want, I want to use everything up. Or border village innkeeper uh silver. I'm gonna save over a lackey is still. Seems worthwhile. Oh, there's triumphal arch. That's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> I should keep that in mind for, for later, right? <laughs> oh, I can also go like King's Court Silver. But I think I want to free the border village a little bit more. Um I think this works out how I want it to. 
So we're going to save over the lackeys, take border village, uh, displace. Maybe over another innkeeper. Yeah. See another innkeeper. It can, only, it can always turn, turn into whatever. And then a silver. Alright, this seems alright if I can stay conscious about piles. Oh, which is something that I definitely need to be staying conscious about. <laughs> um. You can't displace into King's Court, so I guess that's a little bit advantage me, maybe, maybe not. Of course, what we'd really like to do is uh, collide our two king's courts. Um, that would be amazing. It sounds pretty far-fetched in this deck as it is, though. Must say. I what the best way to do these innkeepers is, if that's really the goal. Hmm. Figure it out later. Um, okay. Uh, I think we'll go three three. Um, this one will be one card. <laughs> well, I guess we're using up the villager because I'm kind of out of other options. Um. Like this. Uh, we might be able to attach. Oh, I only have one more King's Court, so that's annoying. Right. Let's see if we can get back to the displace in a way that I can usefully draw something from it. I don't think so. Yeah. Um. So this is bad. Well, it's livable. Um, this goes to Merchant Guild. We'll just play the Merchant Guilds. Um, so that was, that was not a good turn, and it actually puts me at pretty high risk of dud coming up. Uh, why did I exile silver? So, I guess I want, like, I feel like Border Village Innkeeper puts me at pretty high risk of losing. Um, I might just want to do something like, um, yeah, I think I'm at pretty high risk of losing no matter what. I don't think a province actually helps that much. Maybe I save over the copper and go like King's Court Province. I'm, I'm really worried about next turn actually kicking off. Um... Let's do... well, the province doesn't do anything is the thing. Like, if you can take four border villages, I'm, I'm toast, right? Yeah. So let's just leave it here, I guess. Maybe I take a cellar. Let's take a cellar. Okay. I'm just, I'm just really, really concerned about kicking off here, and I'm definitely in position that I could just lose right now, uh, if, if you have a turn. Um, which I don't think there was really anything to do last turn. Like, I could have been targeting Let's King Court the Displace, but, uh, 
Well, I don't know. Well, no, used up your villager. Uh, this is bad. You could totally be putting King's Court on displays right here. Uh, and just winning. So maybe if I'm a bit more conscious about that being a, like, win condition, I would have won because I'm just stupid and completely brain farted and missed it. Um, that would have been a good thing to do, rather than get kind of sped up about not having a turn. This one's definitely my own fault. Um, now a province would have done some good. Jeez, what am I doing? Now a province wouldn't have done any good, because then you just get, you get border village innkeeper, uh, stuff, rather than, um, What's it? Lackeys. So I, I very likely had a win last turn that I just missed because I'm stupid and ignorant. And now you're going to take it because I'm stupid and ignorant. <laughs> um. Oh well. <laughs> I'm tired. There's a. That's that's my excuse. There's a um. Two nights ago, there was a power outage overnight, and it wiped me out pretty well. Um, just disruption. Okay, King's Court is not on the displaced. There's still a chance. <laughs> Hooray. All right, well, this turn we're going into it knowing what the wind condition is, so that's a good thing. The bad news is I don't have a villager and totally could dud. Um, I guess we're going to sell her out lackeys and three coppers first. I think that's the, I think that's the opening move. Um, yeah. Could have been bad. I guess you actually didn't have the targets left. No, you should have an innkeeper still in. No, you have an innkeeper in exile. Okay, you didn't have the targets. You didn't have the targets. You may have had King of Court displaced, but you didn't have the targets because Border Village cannot go to Border Village. Yeah. Um, the Merchant Guild, I don't actually know why you took that there then. Like, there's, there's nothing you can do that's good enough, I don't, I don't think. Like, the Merchant Guild produces money. Maybe, maybe um, the theory is, is that money is, like, valuable. Because um, right now, like, Triple Border Village Innkeeper should be totally fine. Okay, do I want to keep this lackeys? I think the answer is no, but... Alright. Um, I'm just going to make sure of things. Um, let's see. Let's do the border village. Let's do another border village. Um, I think I'm going to King's Court this lackeys. Just, just again, considering what our actual win condition is here, which is let's King's Court this displace and win the game. Um, so yeah, I, I totally blew it last turn. I totally had a win, um, but fortunately I did not get punished for it. Uh, and on to the next one. Uh, 
I totally had to win the previous turn. Um, My mouse isn't working. <laughs> you see these clicks and you might think that they're lag, but it's actually just my mouse not working. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Uh, we have collection, stampede. That's pretty gross. Um... I mean, I guess we're going to try to get the most collections. I don't know if collection stampedes actually, like, that amazing? No, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's 50 points a turn. There is nothing you are doing that is going to score more than that. It's not going to happen. Um, normally we'd open groom on a board like this, but there's collection stampede. So instead we're going to open double silver. Um, I think, uh, off double silver, we'd still like to get Recruiter Old Witch first, uh, before going into collections. I'm not 100% sure on that, um, but it seems plausible. Um, this will be a minstrel. Uh, I mean, of course, I'm really wishing this silver were a groom, but if the next silver is, you know, going to prevent me from hitting five, that's pretty bad. So this will be Recruiter. Um, I mean, a groom's probably fine. It's probably fine. I just, I don't think all the minstrels are actually good. Um, this sucks. Well, not really. We're just going to take another recruiter, right? No, I'm going to take a stampede. I'm not stupid. <sighs> um, like, adding all the minstrels to the deck seems not, like, a good idea. Maybe I'm missing something, but I'm I'm not not liking it. Um, what do I want here? Another recruiter. I think we'll do another recruiter before starting in on um collections. Like these minstrels, they have to disappear at some point. Every 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 minstrel you buy. It's gotta, it's gotta die. Or gain, it's gotta die. I feel like, anyways. Maybe I'm just like way underestimating how fast this thing is? I don't know. Okay, well, I'm gonna start buying collections. Um. I mean, the, the goal now is like get six collections, right? Maybe I'm gonna get groomed out. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I'm probably being overly concerned, but maybe not. Like just a super, super groom deck. <laughs> so to speak. Um, or maybe the combo is just not quite where it's at. I don't know. That could be two, right? Um, do I want an old witch here? I think so. I think I'd like an old witch. Uh, over over the next collection, just to just to draw a little bit better. Um, 
but but yeah, now I, now I want to be taking collections. Um, Old Witch is also disruptive to a collection stampede. It adds cards. I mean, I could maybe I'm maybe I'm off. Maybe I'm off. Like I'm I'm trying to think like how many turns um how many turns it is, but I'm not I'm not yeah. Uh, they're still in a state. So what do we want here? Like collection, maybe another minstrel. Yeah. I'll we'll have to deal with the curses. Be a little bit annoying. I'm just trying to, yeah, I'm, I'm really trying to figure out like how many turns off uh, we are from from this thing, or or from potentially ending the game with the groom deck. Um, now it's just more villages. I don't know. Maybe it's all right. At some point, I'll have to stampede, but I want to get a couple more collect. I want to get like actually a collection in hand before I do that. I might end up doing it this turn, depending on the draw. I'm not sure exactly where to go from there. Like we might be looking at like single stampede for a little bit just to be able to deal with the curses. Um, okay, that was not what I was looking for. Um, so here's 10. Um, uh, maybe I just take two collections. I'm thinking. Like the deck, the deck's working, right? Um, I'll be able to play the one minstrel here, and then I think I, and then I think I stampede. Um, like it's it's time to start scoring. This has got to be a groom. No, it's silvers. I'm so. It, it's got gotta just be missing the missing the combo, right? That that's 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 all this is. It's 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 missing it's missing the combo. I don't think I can lose. Like like even even four collections, I think you're so far away from being able to consistently run it. Yeah. Okay, recruiter, old witch. Okay, that's fine. Um, it's surely worth it to trash one of these things, uh, which is probably a silver. Um, we we have the yeah. Okay, let's end actions and let's start stampeding. So I get like one. Well, we'll we'll see. I can I can play like two actions probably, which is going to be recruiter recruiter for a while if I just want to keep doing this thing. Um, I guess it maybe should have been recruiting the whatever. Eh, whatever. Um, The point for for a little bit the point's just gonna be let's play three collections and buy stampede. 
Uh, I guess Bandit's trying to be disruptive. Um, that's fine. Uh, let's recruit that. Let's recruit uh, this. And let's stampede. Bandit's trying to hit collections. Um, is is the, kind of the point of it. Well, it's it's the entire point of it, which means it's going to behoove me to be double stampeding. Uh, that could be a problem given that I just went down to whatever. So if the bandit hits a silver collection, eh? uh, but whatever. Like like adding more golds to this deck is not gonna enable it to start out scoring me. It's it's not. It's it's just not. Um. So I'll have a problem if the bandit starts hitting collections like that. Um, but I think we're still okay. We're still okay. Uh, cause, cause I can, I can rebuy collection and I have, you know, four of them. Um, so like if I, I can produce 10 coins here, I can, you know, stampede collection. I guess I'm not going to be able to produce 10 coins on five things anymore, but I could like stampede silver. Um, I guess I just, I don't, I don't know where the scoring is going to come from over there. Um, so let's go like this. We're not going to stampede this turn. Um, we're just going to, uh, do something like, uh, Collection Village. It could be Collection Silver, too, if I want a little bit more um, protection. Let's do that. Um, the Bandit is, you know, free to hit God, whatever. Um, but I think we should be, like, like I can take one bandit hit. I can take one bandit hit. Um, okay, curses are out. That's fine. Okay, that bandit missed, so that's, that's good. Um, I'm gonna play horse here and recruit the minstrel, I think. I actually have enough money to, to buy out the two collections. What am I talking about? Okay, I'm just gonna win this turn, if, if you don't mind. <laughs> So we didn't get to do big collection stampede, but I think that was sort of a failure of opponent. Um, yeah, I, I just I have enough money to just win, um, or should. Like I had I had nine last turn, and I added collection. Yeah, okay. This is this is over. This is totally over. Um, I guess there's like certain draws where I fail, but this is nine. I'm up to like 13 and these two cards and these six. It, it seems, it seems pretty good. I'm gonna say. Okay. Um, let's play that. 
Uh, that's treasure, I'm pretty sure. Well, there's there's a collection in there minimally, so it's just end the game. Um, yeah, that was, that was a complete combo miss. Um, I'm not sure I feel great about that one, but... Uh, I guess the, the end of the game came as a surprise, but it, it should not. Well, it was, it was, I guess, the curses, but there, it, there, it was, it, it was not gonna happen. It was not gonna happen. Um, okay, what do we have here after I discard this estate? Um, gains are a little bit tough to come by at smugglers, uh, but there's like, Good, good stuff going on, like Herald training and such. Uh, I guess I'm gonna open probably Forager Flagship. Um, we want Smugglers eventually, but I don't think immediately. I think the Flagship's good, we may get to trash two cards, we may get to double a something else, and we'll be happy about that. Um, pickpockets doesn't seem like that big a deal, at least early. Um, may also get to smuggle two things, that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, gains are a little bit of an issue, it's just forager for plus buy and smugglers, but, so you could actually get completely cut off of plus buy, but you probably won't actually need that much. Um, like, like you should still be able to double long into the game just using Forager. Um, where du double is from a trained herald or whatever. Um, yeah, so this is this is pretty good. Um, we're gonna go ahead. I don't know if I actually want to top deck the herald or not. Um, It doesn't seem bad to, to do. I mean, it, it guarantees reaching the Forager, so that's pretty hot if it works. Um, or I can, or I can double up the Forager potentially instead. Which I think is what's gonna happen. I will spend the favor here. think um and we'll see if we can get two estates out okay uh we can't but that's fine uh let's well it doesn't matter um oh we're not going to get two estates out because i'm stupid uh that's that's what's going to happen uh and then i think i'm one of smugglers pretty badly um, yeah. Okay, this will be sycophant. Uh, we're gonna have some stuff we don't really want to be discarding, potentially. Psychophant. Sycophant. I expect a smuggler's here. Yep. Um. Oh, this is good. Actually, uh, I guess I could pig the forager. That might actually be a better move than. We're we're certainly spending a spending a thing. Um, I think I'm picking the forager. No, I'm I'm reaching I'm reaching five either way, right? Right? Yeah, flag flagship gives money. Um, let's put Harold on top and be done. Uh, this is not gonna, these are not gonna be the most amazing Harold plays, but whatever. I'll live. Um, and I'll even get to smuggle one. Amazing. Uh, why did I spend that favor? Because I'm stupid as hell, that's why. I should have discarded the Psychophant. Oh well. 
whatever. Uh, that can get played. We'll smuggle Harold. And I guess we'll overpay one for Harold again. I just want a big fat stack of Heralds, really. That's a that's a goal for me. What's the other thing I gained? Did I even gain anything else? I didn't think so. Uh, I'll discard a state for safekeeping. Um, okay, this is sad, but whatever. I got the Herald. All is okay. <laughs> um, we'll see if you get the last two or not. It'd suck, but yeah, alright. Um Alright, we're gonna discard smugglers. And we're gonna pig that, and we're gonna play flagship, and I'm gonna train Harold. Cause I can. That's why. No, I think I'm I'm pretty pretty happy with where I'm at. Um, there might be some, uh, I don't know. Okay, I get to smuggle with smugglers. That's, that's fantastic. Um, uh, pig. We'll, we'll have more than enough money. Um, smuggling smugglers. Uh, maybe like province flagship. Seems alright. It'd be good to have a flagship's end of term, but with Heralds it's so not happening. It is just so not happening. Uh, I may get the opportunity to, um, to forge the psychophant, which is something I really should do if I get the chance. Um, okay, I guess we're getting flagships this turn. Uh, I guess to double play it, right? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, I don't think there's actually any more heralds in there. Let's let's uh smuggle our flagships. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll take province destrier now. I could also take like just a cartographer. It doesn't seem like the worst thing ever, especially with the Herald Heavy deck. Like, everything seems perfectly fine if I don't gain anything that's green and costs less than whatever the smuggler's limit is, six. I'm guessing you'll reach training this turn, and that'll definitely be the thing that you do. Um... A little bit less trash than I might like to be. 
but oh well. Um, yeah, so this is going to be training on Harold. I have zero doubts. Zero. Um, maybe it won't be. I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine you not taking training here. It seems so necessary. Like... I wonder if there was something I could do earlier this game to grab a, um... Grab the sixth herald. I don't know. Um... I suspect I'm going to have to uh, pig at least one of the smugglers. Forger, I can't really afford to pig. Um, that deck over there is definitely working. Working all right. Uh, I still have quite a few coppers, I guess, is, is one of the big things going on over here uh, that, that may be making things a little bit uglier than they need to be. Um, but, yeah. Four heralds and 15 cards is actually not that great a rate. It's making me think that I got kind of lucky last turn. Oh, there's quite a few flagships also, which help things along. Um, I'm also maybe not liking the cartographer buy as much over Destrier as I thought I did at first. Um, dreams going on Harold, yep. Silver's interesting. I wonder if that's supposed to be Forager food or if you just want the econ. Or both. Um, let's, let's not exclude both. Uh, pig, pig, uh, cartographer. I guess I'm going to discard all of them. It seems not great. Well, let's, let's leave nothing smugglable this turn. Um, okay, well, now we're, now we're rolling, um, uh, I could actually play this. I mean, why would I, though? Let's just not mess around. Um, let's just double province. This turn looks a little bit more, or I guess it looks safer to, to begin with, and I did not leave anything smugglable, so... Yeah. I think I'm, I think I'm happy about that. Um... These Herald flagship chains are really confusing. So even if you do buy, like, Duchy, 
I'm pretty certain that it's better for me to uh, skip out um, all of the alt green. Um, like that, like being a give it giving you smugglers just gives you an opportunity to uh, come back. Genuinely, that's that's all it does. So you might go like province double duchy here, and then I still don't want to. I still don't want to take any duchies off the smugglers. You might also just take three provinces and hope I dud, though I doubt it. Or two provinces. Um, I might have a problem with Forager, depending. We'll see. Uh, okay. Yeah, so we, we need to not take any of those two green cards. That is amazing. Um, that is fine. We'll do it like this. Play. Play. Uh, so I actually just want to um, double province. Uh, so unless I can do better than that. So um, this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20, well, no, it's, it's a whole lot more than that, right? So I play, like, another flagship, and then I play the Forager is six coins, or rather, I play the two flagships, and then I play the Forager is eight coins, and I have two left. Um, so let's, let's just do this to start out with, because otherwise we're going to be peeing the Forager. Um, and then I, I can totally uh, reach, right? Forge the two provinces, smugglers, copper, and that makes enough money. Okay. I, I, I would have won taking two provinces, but I could totally just do it right there and then. So it worked out. Um, back to your start. A game of five. Oh, what we have here. I have a five that I'm really happy with. I just don't know whether it's better to buy Apprentice or Summon Research, and I'm pretty sure the answer is Summon Research. Um, I guess it could also be Summon Scrap. Summon Scrap's actually better, right? Because cause then I can reach three again and do what exactly? <laughs> um, well, no, I can reach four off of that. And by... Who the heck knows? Uh, longer term, there's like Bandit Camp Inventor, and there's Pathfinding, so you don't even care that much about Bandit Camp being a utterly crap village. Um, Apprentice is a little bit annoying with that, but whatever. Um, so, so I'm summoning Scrap. Um, uh, maybe I just take Silver Horse off of it, or like Coin Horse? I don't know. I feel like, I feel like Card Coin's pretty good, too, is, is the thing. Um... Because that reaches four. 
And it might allow me to summon again. Let's do that and take an inventor. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking this. Uh, so this time around we'll summon research. Um. I think we might summon inventor. Then the other inventor would be gaining a five cost. Uh, it makes the scrap a little bit lame, but eh. well, let's do it this way. Okay, scrap, scrap misses. That's fine. It's fine. I I can't I can't complain. I can't complain. Um. So let's hit the hit the estate. Are we really gonna hit the estate? And not a copper. I'm gonna hit the copper. Hit the copper. Uh, go coin horse. Invent an inventor. Buy silver. Well, whatever. The, the exact order of those things doesn't really matter. Oh, I haven't been paying too much attention to what's happening over there, although it seems like somehow we're about the same miss of well-off. Um, where are these points from? Oh, Plateau Shepherds, that's it. That's it. That's why I have extra points. Always hard to figure these things out. Let's see, if we can, we're gonna summon a bandit camp. That would be sweet. I guess you're gonna get to summon, uh, something. Maybe an apprentice? I think, like, like, bandit camp seems like the only thing that's that worth, very worthwhile, uh, to summon at five. You might also just summon an inventor. I don't know. Yeah. This is okay. It's it's not amazing by any means. Um hmm. like if I summon a scrap, I'm scrapping a scrap. Uh, For action, because I'm gonna have two inventors. Okay, that that makes sense to me at least. And we'll do it for like card coin horse. Um, okay, summon this card coin horse. Inventor, whoops. <laughs> that needed an action. We can. This is supposed to be. There, there was really supposed to be. Okay, fine. Um, whatever. There are two inventors in hand. Um, uh, that's, that's just needing to be more careful. Um, but, I think I think things are still going okay. They're they're not as good as they were before as a result of that kind of mishap, but um I think we're still doing okay. I think we're still doing okay. We're gonna summon another bandit camp here. Uh preferably inventor two inventors, although they might be out by the time the turn's done. Um Okay, this is fine. It's it's going to be roughly the same result as it would have been otherwise. Uh, so that's okay. 
Um, Mando pre-searching scrap. We'll see. We'll see what the research draws. Uh, Let's see. Like, you really need pathfinding. It's actually kind of an annoying board because of how badly you need pathfinding, I feel like. Um, I guess there's also something to be said for, like, summoning apprentice and just, like, trashing out bandit camps to try to, to, try to get the actions done. Um... Summon. Okay, summon apprentice. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to research scrap. Or I'm going to scrap research. I'm thinking I might scrap research and summon apprentice. Assuming I know at all what that card is. It might not be what I want it to be. Oh, I think it's a horse. Right? It's a horse. Yeah. Uh, so if I shuffle here... Um, let's go like card by coin horse. Um, so, so I can, I can gain like research bandit camp maybe. And I'm going to summon up an apprentice and hit the bandit camp. I'm not exactly sure where this game's going from here. Um, I'm totally hitting the bandit camp, right? I'm, I'm not hitting the silver. Yeah. Let's hit the bandit camp. Um, let's draw into this. Okay, so I have the resources to pathfind uh, bandit camp, which to me seems like a good move. Um, I would have liked to have gotten a buy out of it, but let's, let's do this while we can. Um... I guess you're getting pretty far along. I wonder if that was a bad move, even. Too late now. Piles are getting pretty low. Uh, we may want to look at scoring. <laughs> um, even. Um, I wonder if you'll just actually have a win here. I guess you, I guess you have one scrap left. I don't, I don't think the draw is going to be there. Um, so maybe I research scrap here and gain, like, a vineyard. That seems plausible. Or, not a vineyard, gain a, uh, t -t 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 potion. I don't think buying scraps in order, um... I wonder about gaining the scrap last turn over a uh, potion, even. Oh well. Um, I don't think a silver's good after I gain the potion. Count. Interesting. Might be another apprentice. Like if if you're thinking, okay, I'm gonna win next turn, you'd be probably summoning apprentice. I got. I'm I'm guessing I'm gonna see a summoned apprentice, and then probably a win next turn. Um. 
which is kind of a lesson for me, you know. <laughs> Why did you pathfind Bandit Camp when you could have been winning the game this turn had you summoned Apprentice? Just kind of a miss. Um, maybe I'll trick you into pathfinding. No, no, no such luck. This is just going to be two summoned apprentices and a win. No province. Well, oh, that's weird. I mean, I suspect you're just going to be able to win, but let's let's pretend like that's not happening. Um, Scrap's not going to do me much of any good, Estate's not going to do me much of any good. Silver is probably worthy of having. Um, so you should just be able to win here. Uh, I got too carried away with the game not being, like, over. Uh, apprenticing that bandit camp looked a little bit weird, I'm going to say. Um, so I suspect you'll just have enough, maybe? I don't know how much bandit camp you actually have left. Four actions, okay, that's, that's just it. Assuming you have the inventors in hand. Yeah, you do. Here's what I think of this. That was a BS on duty and I. I'm going to deny his next one. I don't care. Not really. Um, it's just irritating. Okay, we have Frigate here. Um, that's something. We also have Pool. Uh, there's like there's like sycophant stuff, so you can actually probably do okay against Frigate. You, you're going to want it, for sure. Uh, I guess I'm going to open maybe like um, search is a little bit weird because of Wolf Den, but you totally want the, uh, result off of it. So, I'm not, like, like, you, you, um, I could also open, like, Sycophant, uh, Potion something. That's actually probably pretty good, right? Like, like, I can go Sycophant, uh, Potion Menagerie or something like that. Or, or potion smugglers. Okay, I, th I think I've convinced myself on this, at least. Um, that's the one I think it is, yeah. Okay. Uh, gain gaining more cards being good, in general. Um, scrying pull versus frigate is awkward as heck, but uh, I think still alright. Um, Yeah, if I had Summoned Apprentice, left, I don't think, it's it's hard to say, it's hard to say. If I had Summoned Apprentice over Pathfinding, it would have been good to keep the turns going. I, I didn't really realize how screwed I was down there. I don't know. Um, so Bank looks pretty bad. Uh, Frigate looks pretty good. Trashing is <laughs> Stonemason. Um, I guess there's, there's like this stonemason, stonemason potion thing, so maybe I would go like potion menagerie right here. Seems okay. I think it still might be the best move rather than the shepherd. Over the shepherd. Like we just need to get frigate eventually. Eventually. Doesn't, doesn't need to be right now. Right. It could also be like, Smugglers? I don't know. Like, there's there's this amazing draw where you play Sycophant and then play the Menagerie and everything is amazing. Um, but, yeah. Okay, it takes a search. Okay, so I'm just gonna go Potion Menagerie, I think, over Shepherd Smugglers. Is that even true? I don't think that's true. I think I'm going Shepherd Smugglers.
I'll take potion here. It'll be it'll be fine. This is also actually pretty good down there. Maybe I take another shepherd over pool stuff. I don't think so. I think I'm I think I'm taking potion right here. Like like we can always stone mace it later. It's fine. Oh god. Well this is horrific. Be be quite honest. I'm not too into a smugglers if that's what you buy. I probably would take a second potion. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is a oh, I'm gonna get something else instead. Um Let's take a second potion. There's some madness to that, but I'm I'm a little bit suspect on having two smugglers is when uh Uh, this is bad down there. Um, this could be some really, really bad news. Uh, I'm looking at like one potion estate and some other garbage. Um, maybe I take a mountain village. Let's take a mountain village. Okay, well, both potions missed, so that's incredible. Really bad. It's it's incredibly bad. Um So I guess I'm gonna smuggle Mountain Village and take another sycophant. Uh, I could also smuggle a menagerie. Maybe we do that. Pool. I guess I could gain a sycophant off of it. That might be good, even. I'm not entirely convinced it's not good. Well, there's smugglers in the game. I don't know. Maybe you take your frigate now. I don't think so, but you can see it. Um, happy to have the mountain village in there if I see it before the freaking last hand. You know. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna architect. Well, this looks amazing. Um. Yeah, this is this is quite good. Uh. I'm just going to stonemason for two scrying pools, and that is going to be all that I do. Uh, stonemason, don't want to architect's guild anything, don't want to architect's guild the stonemason. Alright, so this is, this is pretty good. Um, and in addition, I should be able to start killing the potion if I really want to. Oh, well, that's certainly a thing that can happen with Scrying Pool, isn't it? <laughs> Yikes. Um, this, this turn seems potentially better than it needed to be. Here's what I'll say. That's what I'll say. Um... Yeah, um, this is, this is more what I was expecting, right? <laughs> well, let's grab our two pools. Um, what the heck? You gotta be kidding me. Uh, 
Okay, maybe this is the end. Or maybe it's just the beginning for with menageries getting get activated. It's just the beginning. Who would have guessed? Um Yeah, this is this is terrible. This is really terrible. You top deck a scrying pool of mine. That was weird. Surely you're gonna discard that. Yeah, okay. Um, man. Oh, like, like, I feel like I'm totally not drawing this turn. It's, it's totally not happening. Um, I guess you can end up masoning the, uh, what's it, things. The, 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 oh, god, mountain village goes away. How do your scrying pools hit the exact, like, worst things for me, and mine hits a freaking scrying pool, but it doesn't do anything? Um, well, this is gonna be the last two pools, so your search is gonna go... Hopefully it's like a figurehead or something. Um, and it's an insignia. Eh, it's not the most amazing. I mean, you you can stone mason it. It's fine. Like, I guess maybe you take a frigate off at this one because now you, I guess, at least think you're going to be fully drawing all the time, which maybe you will be because you've trashed three coppers. Um, jeez, it's painful. Uh, let's go Menagerie Sycophant. Um, okay, that's, that's more like, that's more like it. Things are actually getting pretty low here. Uh, there's, there's a lot of potential for a, for a game to kinda go at this point. Um, Ooh, it's a turn. Maybe. It's actually looking like a pretty good turn. Uh, if I find my village. Um, I need to look out for winds here. Okay. Um, I, I really need to look out for wins right here now. Um, so I'm action limited in sort of a significant way, I guess. Uh, you did not gain a mountain village on your last turn. Um, but, uh, let's figure out if we think we can do this. Um, I, I, the, the gains just aren't here. The gains totally aren't here. I can smuggle a shepherd. That doesn't do me a whole a hell of a lot, does it? Well, it can get me through the last couple things, I suppose. Uh, I may also want to just look at buying province. I, I can't gain and play a frigate, which is annoying, but oh well. Um... Uh, so I stone mason into like two sycophants, four sycophants, and then I totally can't buy the, the rest of it. Um, so let's go ahead and indeed smuggle that shepherd. Uh, I could architect guild off of it. Um, what would I want? Potentially menagerie? Hmm. Huh? I don't think so. Um, I think I, I think I want to hold that. Um, 
So let's uh, draw. Yeah, draw. Um, uh, I'm going to stonemason a copper out, and I think gain like province. Uh, frigate's threatening, at least. Once. Well, it takes points away as part of the thing. And I am actually sort of genuinely concerned about pile stuff. Okay, good opening hand. Um, you playing Shepherd first is also a really good thing with what I left on top. Apparently not to, not to last. Um, let's see, one of my big concerns here is that you managed to stonemason an insignia and play Frigate, which could seriously inhibit my ability to win this turn. Uh, so that'd be bad. Uh, likely, but bad, nonetheless. Um, fairly likely, in fact. <laughs> but still bad. Uh, I have some point scoring potential, I guess. Uh, Yeah, I should have taken free. Well, I don't know. Look, I think if I take Frigate the air, you probably can win. It seems kind of on the edge, but still eh. difficult. Difficult. Um. This turn I have the extra village, uh, which would be very helpful if I don't get frigated. Uh, you absolutely should be stonemasing the insignia into, into frigate. That's, that's like your main goal for this turn. Is, is to do that. Um, absolutely. There's, yeah. Um, it, it would just kill my pileout ability so hard. Let's see, I think only a stonemason has passed. Um, there's some pretty horrific draws at the start, I think. Yeah, that's that's not everything, but it, it did not help the cause. Uh, so you should be stonemasing the insignia for frigates, or a frigate at least, probably two. Um. That's my opinion, anyways. Otherwise, I should be able to win this turn. If this doesn't hit Insignia, I'm gonna be stunned. Now it's Potion. Okay. Maybe there's a win otherwise? I mean, I guess you probably have another stone mason to do the insignia. Um, what do I still have as signals? Province? Pasture? There's gotta be more than that. Province, pasture, smugglers. That's what it is. Province, pasture, smugglers. So 
So let's see, 10 of these things, you can take out 6 with stonemason. Okay, 9 of these things, you can take out 6 with stonemasons, and then 1 with, uh, thing. Uh, maybe you're winning? Insignia. You're hitting Insignia for a frigate. Yes, okay. You might not be able to draw it, though. The, the feeling is, is that you totally can. Um... So frigate's gonna be make it really tough to to pile these things. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, there is a small chance I think that you were gonna miss it, but <laughs> small chance. Um, what do I have in my discard? Utter garbage. That's what. Uh, so. What's our goal? I mean, the goal's still got to be win. Uh, you know, hit the smugglers, hit the... Maybe the two potions. Um... You're buying a province here. That seems clear. Uh... I don't think I can really... Well, my my worst case, I think, is that I have to smuggle a frigate and play it, and we'll be able to do that now. Uh, I think I should probably still be able to reach province, especially off of the starting hand. Um, and hopefully that the, the frigate just, like, completely musses you up. Um, okay, so yeah, we're gonna discard, discard, okay, we have to discard down to some number, that's fine, uh, it's these three, I believe, um, I'm gonna do another run of this, okay, this is still fine, although not quite as fine. Um, what I really need is Menagerie. Okay, there's the Smugglers. So, uh, I need to play Mountain Village. Oh, whoops, undo that. I want to discard the Stonemason instead. This is literally a discard. Okay. Um... So let's grab an estate. We're gonna smuggle frigate and try to get back to it. Um, okay. Uh, sycophant, I guess, just totally doesn't work out of these four card hands. That's pretty bad. Um, one, two, sure. Uh, discard top deck. This card down to four. That is the mountain village. God damn it. I am not going to get back to the frigate. That is unbelievable. Uh, undo that discard. I am going to get back to the frigate. Watch this. Bam. Frigate. Discard three. Get another frigate. Alright, we managed. Somehow. Unfortunately, you have the, the perfect starting hand, but we're we're gonna say that this frigate is gonna is gonna really hurt. Might might even prevent you from getting back around to your other one. At least we're gonna we're gonna hope. 
Um, so now what? The sycophant deck doesn't work. <laughs> um, that's kind of funny. I mean, I knew Frigate was going to be good, I just didn't know it was going to be so freaking devastating. Okay, makes another search. We're going to do everything we can to draw here, because if we draw, we're going to win. I may not be drawing. Let's find out. I still hope. Okay, hope hope has been abandoned. Um, well, I can province, right? We can we can totally province, and that's fine. Uh, can I win otherwise somehow? Uh, like I stonemason smugglers to to sycophants. No, no, it's not happening. Okay, so we get to play the frigate. That's good. And I get to buy Provin, that's also really good. I'm just trying to figure out if there's something better I can do. It's definitely not Surge. I could Stonemason the Smugglers into two Sycophants and, like, take stuff off the province, but I don't, I don't think that's... Well, I could do one Sycophant in, like, an estate. Okay. Um, I can take something off the province, which I think I want to do. Uh, I think I want to take a menagerie off the province. Okay, so you're getting you're gonna get a turn where you presumably do end up getting to play frigate, which whatever it happens. Um, but that's like totally and utterly fine. Uh, I actually probably should have taken a gold off that province, but I, I still have more like fuel to stonemason into estates, which is which scores uh, and is not like too dreadful. Um, I guess there's a chance that you don't find a frigate here. I don't, I don't think it's going to be such that you're able to get a win out of this. Uh, that, that seems unlikely. Okay, so you're, you're definitely getting a frigate if you want it. Um, That that seems that seems certain. Um, so the trick for me here is going to be trying to figure out how to province this turn. I don't think I can. Uh, quite quite honestly. Um, so I think the I think the next step for me is really just pound the estates. Uh, While making sure I play frigate, um, that's that's a that's a necessity. That's a necessity. Um, I guess there's also something where if I empty a pile, I give you two loots, but it also could be minus six points. That's kind of interesting. And by interesting, I mean completely horrifying. <laughs> what do you discard as pool? Whatever. I mean, it's not a whatever. It's it's totally not a whatever because, like, if 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 I were to have had a full turn last turn, I would have won. And the scrying pools being towards the bottom like that absolutely cost me. 
Um, I like how ineffective the sycophants are. Sycophant, sycophant. Elephant. <laughs> like, I guess you'll reach province here, but at what cost? <laughs> I can't reach province here. I'm gonna be real. It, it won't happen. I, I can't do it. My, my deck is incapable of buying province this turn. <laughs> um, that's okay, we'll be able to get some estates. Uh, let's grab that just to make sure. Um, let's do those two. Oh, that was kind of dumb. I should have played the frigate first, but whatever. Uh, okay, um, is two estates better than this potion? The answer is, uh, yes, yes it is. I'll just keep getting estates. What's the worst that can happen? You win. I guess that is the worst that can happen. Might be a little bit greedy to take so many estates. I mean, you can't buy province this turn, so that might have actually just been really, really dumb. Right? <sighs> like a search might have been in more in order? I don't know. How's the draw going? Not good, huh? Yeah, apparently pretty good over there. Maybe I play Sycophant to start out the turn, and then pool? That's pretty risky. Uh, I think it's too risky. Be honest. Um, I totally might have blown it taking those estates. I don't know. Like neither of us is capable of provincing right now, so like maniacal point scoring might not actually be the way to go, right? <laughs> I guess you're really trying to get back to the frigate is, is part of this. Perhaps. Um, yeah, okay. Let's see how it is. I think it's just far, far too risky for me to, uh, play Sycophant first. Unfortunately. Cause, cause that would be how I like theoretically reach province again. Um, well, I guess the other thing I can do is stonemason a province to frigates. Did I have mountain village last turn? Both of them? No, just one. That gives some, like, small amount of hope for this hand. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know, you can like stonemason into however many estates. That's gets scary. I don't know if you'll be able to, but it, it gets scary. Because, like, can I get the sycophants and then buy something that scores? No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. 
Um, I'm gonna buy Dachi. Although I guess on the other hand, like, if it were okay, I, you know, however many freaking estates, um, I'd, I'd be just as, like, terrible off, right? Um, like, like the situation, the situation would not be better. Uh, I don't, like, this, this isn't gonna win, right? Maybe? Maybe you have the stonemasons? I don't know. You have three stonemasons, but, like, this is all your draw and you just shuffled also, so there's some menageries in there. I guess you can like take two estates and then stonemason for two sycophants and that could pretty well screw me over still. It'd be like a two turn win. It might be reasonable. Yeah, I think, I think that might have been the way to go if you could do it, which you could. Um, and you didn't, so that's good news for me. Um, yeah, that, that was, that was a definitely a mistake. There was, there was a guaranteed win over two turns right there that you missed. Okay. I can't afford to risk it. Um, you're gonna discard that, I think. Uh, I'm gonna hold the sycophant, I think? No. Uh. Okay, um. Something like this. Okay, if I if I pull up the frigate. So I pull up the frigate. Um I play it. If I stone mason okay, that's not working. Um I can stone mason a pool. I can stone mason a pool into two estates. I can also just go for the freaking win. Um, that's, that's also an option. Right? Like, sh shuffling here is actually a decent thing overall. Um, I can stone mason the potion. That'll be good. Okay, so we can stone mason potion uh, into two estates. You get minus however many points. I stone mason for two sycophants and I win. Because you don't have any draw in there. That's my theory anyways. I saw I saw the, the thing, so two menageries. We saw both mountain villages. We saw Shepherd. We saw Shepherd. Okay, you cannot draw. That's my theory, anyways. And I'm sticking to it. You can't draw. Yep. All right. All right, that was kind of ugly at the end, but we, we managed to get through. I guess there's a server reset or whatever. Uh, anyways, um, good result, won't be good enough, and I'll see you all.